subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to this beginner's tutorial on AWS. This tutorial, is ideal for those, who wants to get started with AWS. And also ideal for candidates who wants to prepare for the Cloud Practitioner Certification Exam. Amazon Web Services right now is the most extensive cloud services provider in the world, with more than 175 fully featured services. AWS is a broadly adopted cloud platform by developers, businesses, and enthusiasts of technology. AWS has a simple interface. When you log into the AWS, you will see this management console, and can see the services offered in various categories. The table here shows an overview of the developer's tool in AWS. You can automate service management, with scripts, using the command line. You can write, run, debug and deploy applications using an IDE. And you can also use software development kits. On AWS, you can easily develop applications in the programming language of your choice. Here you can see a list of SDK, and programming toolkits. You can see this list of tools for developing and managing applications, on link given in the slide. Before we dive into AWS further, and learn more about their services, it is important, to learn about the ideal way of building cloud solutions. AWS has developed an ideal framework to build cloud applications, which is called, 5 Pillars of AWS Well-Architected Framework. The five pillars consist of the following areas. 1. Security. 2. Performance Efficiency. 3. Reliability. 4. Operational Excellence. And 5. Cost Optimization. In the security pillar, we use a model of zero trust, while thinking about security in the cloud. All application components, and services, are seen as potentially malicious entities. The Performance Efficiency Pillar, focuses on efficiency and scalability. With cloud, you can handle any amount of traffic, and you need to choose and configure, your services with scale in mind. The Reliability Pillar focuses on, building services with resiliency, to both service and infrastructure disruptions. Thus it is required that you architect your services, with reliability in mind. The next pillar of operational excellence, focuses on continuous improvement. We can think of it in terms of automation, and eliminating human error. Cost optimization means achieving business outcomes while minimizing costs. Cost optimization in the cloud can be explained in terms of OPEX instead of CAPEX. Let's have a quick brief on these pillars. 1. Security Pillar When we start thinking of security in terms of zero trust, we need to apply security measures at all levels of our system. The following are three important concepts involved in securing systems with zero trust in the cloud. Identity and Access Management Network Security and Data Encryption 2. Performance Efficiency In the on-premises model of doing things, servers are expensive, and often manually deployed and configured. It could take weeks. And each server is unique and require a lot of maintenance. In this model, it is quite common to use the same type of server, or even the same server, for multiple workloads. The better way, is provisioning a cheap and quick solution, which also has freedom to select the server type, that most closely matches the workload. And because, every server is interchangeable and quick to deploy, we can quickly scale our capacity, by adding more servers. The two concepts for performance efficiency, are, selection, and scaling. Selection means, the ability to choose the service with alignment to your workload. AWS has over 175 services in two dozen categories. Achieving performance through selection means being able to choose the right tool for the job. While choosing the right service is key to getting started, choosing how it scales is important to continued performance. AWS has two primary means of scaling. Vertical scaling, and horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling involves, upgrading your underlying compute to a bigger instance type. Horizontal scaling involves, increasing the number of underlying instances. 3. Reliability When thinking about reliability in the cloud, we can think in terms of blast radius, which means the maximum impact that might be sustained in the event of a system failure. To build reliable systems, you should focus on minimizing the blast radius of any individual component. 4. Operational excellence The more operations that can be automated, the less chance there is for human error. In addition to preventing error, 
Automation helps you continuously improve your internal processes. 5. Cost Optimization Cost optimization in the cloud can be explained in terms of OPEX instead of CAPEX. OPEX is an ongoing, pay-as-you-go model. Whereas, CAPEX is a one-time purchase model. OPEX model fundamentally changes the approach to costing. Instead of large upfront fixed costs, you are able to think in small ongoing variable expenses. Let's now look at the global infrastructure of AWS. AWS cloud resources are hosted in multiple locations worldwide. These locations are composed of AWS regions, availability zones, and local zones. Each AWS region is a separate geographic area. Each AWS region has multiple isolated locations known as availability zones. And then you have local zones. By using local zones, you are able to place cloud resources in multiple locations closer to your end users. A local zone is an extension of a region that is in a different location from your region. It is ideal for running latency sensitive applications local to end users and resources in a specific geography. Resources aren't replicated across regions unless you specifically choose to do so. AWS has state of the art, highly available data centers. Although rare, failures can happen affecting the availability of resources that are in the same location. If you host all of your resources in a single location that is affected by a failure, none of your resources would be available. Using a local zone, you can place select services closer to your end users. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.